Hi, and welcome to Neo Just Makeup. I'm Neo, and today this anime makeup look is inspired by Alexandrite from Steven Universe. <laughs> so, I've actually been wanting to do this look for a while. I've had the stuff to do it, I just... I don't know why I haven't done it. Um, but I actually uh, had a lot of fun doing this look. I'm using some of my, like, two of my, some of my favorite products, like my favorite eyeshadow, one of my favorite lipsticks. And I thoroughly love how this came out. So if you want to learn how to recreate this look, please do continue watching. Okay, so let's get started. And today I'll be using my Benefit Goop Roof Brow Pencil in number four to fill in my brows. Okay, now for eyeshadow primer, we'll be taking the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion and we'll be applying it to the eyes and blending it out using our fingers. Or at least that's what I'm going to do. You can do whatever you want. Okay, so for eyeshadow today, I'll be taking my Manny Me Way Makeup Geek palette. And I haven't used this in a while, and I'm like, this is, this is like my baby. I need to use it some more, because she needs love. She's begging to be used. So we'll be taking Beaches and Cream and using that to set the primer. Okay, so to start transitioning, we're going to take Sora, right? Yeah, Sora, and we're going to put that, yeah, as like a transition color. I cannot speak today. And I'll be using my Tarte Make Believe in Yourself buffing, buffing brush. So now I just ran my brush through my Veramona color switch, and I'm going to use the same brush and pick up Frappe and put it a little bit lower in the crease. So now we're going to take the shade Mars on this more packing brush. We're just going to place it into the crease and the outer V. I don't know if I said Mars or I said Aphrodite. This is Aphrodite. I can't remember which one I said. Taking that same brush, we're going to dip into Frappe and Mars and just put it on the outer edge so that way it works really well when we blend it out. I'm going to be taking my Sephora Collection number 10 brush and just blending it all together. Okay, so now I'm actually going to take my Kat Von D Edge Concealer Brush, and we'll be taking the shade Insomnia, which is one of my favorite shadows ever, <laughs> and I'm actually going to be placing that all on the inside of the lid. So while this does look good, I want it to be a little more intense, so I'm going to be taking that same brush and I'm going to be wetting it using my Milani Make It Last Found uh, <laughs> my Milani Make It Last Setting Spray and I'll be just packing it on a little bit more for a little more pigment.
Okay, so now I'm gonna curl my lashes, put on some mascara, and put on some false lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back, and I actually ended up using the Lash Renegade mascara because I've really been enjoying this. And I also applied my uh, House of Lashes and Disney collection, well, Tinkerbell collection, uh, just wing it lashes. And I love them. <laughs> I love them for this because then you can really see that, like, insomnia shade, which is my life. Okay, so now moving on to the face. For primer today, I'll be taking the Kat Von D Hydrating Priming Base and putting that all over my face. We're gonna let that get nice and tacky. Okay, so now that this primer is nice and tacky, I'll be taking the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation in 04 Medium Beige and applying that to the face and blending it out using the Kat Von D Edge Foundation Brush. Okay, so for concealer today, I'll be taking my Kat Von D Locket Creme Concealer in L7 and my L'Oreal True Match in N123. I'll be applying it to the area, to the under eyes and everywhere else I want to highlight, and I'll be blending it out using my Kat Von D Edge Concealer Brush. Okay, so now taking the Kat Von D uh, Locket Setting Powder and her Precision Powder Brush, we're going to be setting those areas. Okay, so now I'm going to be taking Kat Von D's All Over Powder Brush and using that to apply that, that same powder all over the face as well as kicking off the excess powder. Okay, so for bronzer today, I'll be taking my NARS Sun Wash Diffusing Bronzer, and this is in the shade Casino, and I'll be taking my Tarte Make Believe in Yourself <laughs> uh, Contour Brush. I'll be using that to contour, and I'll, I'll be blending it out with a powder brush from the same collection. Okay, so for blush today, I'll be taking my NARS Orgasm, and I'll be also taking my Becca, <laughs> this is the Champagne Pot Collection Blush and Highlighting Brush. Okay, so I'm quickly going to blend those two together using that same powder brush. So for highlighter today, I'll be taking my Kat Von D Alchemist palette, and I'm actually going to be blending all the shades together, <laughs> because Alexandrite is basically a walking rainbow. Okay, so the funny thing is, in person, this looks like supernatural because it's like all the colors together but on camera it just looks like really nice i i actually really love this combo okay so for the lower lash line we're going to be taking this shade right we're going to be taking aphrodite and placing it right under the uh, lash line
Okay, so now we're going to take Mars and just place it right on top and slightly below. Okay, so now I'm going to take that Sephora Collection number 10 brush and just blend it out. So for the inner corner, we're going to be taking the shade Emerald as well as the shade Amethyst. We're going to mix those two together and pop it on the inner corner. Okay, so for eyeliner today, I'll be taking my Maybelline Lasting Drama, and this is in the shade Polished Amethyst, and I'll be running it in the waterline. So just like I did on the top lashes, I'm going to be applying the Lash Renegade Mascara to the bottom lashes. Okay, so I'm actually going to line my lips today, and I'll be taking my Kat Von D Everlasting Lip Liner and Crucifix. Okay, I know I look a little weird. I always look weird when I'm talking about. <laughs> but today I'm going to be taking an LA Splash. This is the Lip Shine Lip Luster in Katrina. And I love it because it's literally like insomnia as a lipstick. Okay, so yeah, as you can see, this is literally a dual chrome lipstick. And by the way, this is waterproof, bulletproof, lifeproof, like... Nothing. Okay, so now that we have that on, I'll be setting my face using my Milani Make It Last setting spray. So now I'm just going to quickly uh, put down my hair and I'll be right back. Okay, and here we are with the finished look and I thoroughly love how this came out. <laughs> it's very um, me on the inside, I guess you could say, because <laughs> I love these darker tones. I love like, I love it. It's like I said, Insomnia is like my favorite eyeshadow. This is like one of my favorite lipsticks. This highlighter is popping. I'm like happy as can be. <laughs> so, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and press that little bell so that way every time I release a new video, you get a notification. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you for watching. <laughs> Have a good night or day wherever you are, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye.